Hello. Uh, today I am going to just explain what is hip replacement. Now the hip joint is like a ball and socket joint. It is formed by this thigh bone and the ball of the thigh bone which is called as head of the femur and we can see this socket that is the acetabulum. All these bones inside the normally they are lined with smooth cartilage and so the bone doesn't uh, rub on each other and normally we are capable of walking straight on this hip joint which is a very stable ball and socket joint. Uh, due to various reasons like sometimes accidents, sometimes due to bad habits like alcoholism or sometimes due to some uh, uh, drug intake like uh, steroid intake or uh, many times without any reason this ball of the femur that is the head of the femur this gets damaged due to loss of blood supply. Many times due to arthritis also or sometimes hematological conditions like sickle cell anemia they damage this uh, head of the femur and then ultimately the socket also gets damaged. Let's see then in a primary stage it looks partly damaged like this and uh, there are four stages in the damage and the fourth stage it is completely totally damaged in which we will have to we can see that it's completely fragmented the shape is not now smooth and it's not round and this gets completely damaged. So we have to do a replacement surgery in which we have to take out this bone and replace it with an artificial component and put a liner for this acetabulum and cover the uh, cover this arthritic joint with a smooth sort of a lining. So the replaced hip joint it looks something like this. You can see the socket lined with this liner and inside the bone this is a shaft of the prosthesis which is stem of the prosthesis which is put inside and it is then attached with a ball like this and then the hip is reduced to get a complete sort of a hip joint which is a new hip joint for the patient which it can move normally and doesn't cause friction and so the pain of the hip joint is relieved. Uh, there are various uh, no, materials which we can use. We can see that this is a ceramic material which is uh, long lasting doesn't give problems which are seen in case of metals. There are other materials like this oxidized zirconium also which can be sometimes used. These are more used in say younger patients. And then there are, this is a shell for the acetabulum or what we call the socket and this uh, liner is fit inside this. So these are various you know permutation and combination which we can use in the hip joint as per the needs of the patient. Generally it takes about an hour for the hip replacement surgery and patient uh, you know, can walk the next day after the surgery and hospitalization is about 3 to 4 days.